We're running a little bit late. Uh, Sophie is getting ready to do the news. Uh, so she wanted to thank everyone. And you'll hear her summary uh, starting at uh, 6 o'clock uh, for the global broadcast. And uh, I just wanted to share that uh, it's been a privilege to participate again uh, for a second year to see that we've achieved uh, new attendance records, uh, that new things are occurring inside of our province. And the organization uh, who sponsors and the team of people who put this on is led uh, by the president and CEO of BCIC, Carl Anderson. So I'd like to invite Carl up. I'd like to thank him and his team. And he's going to close off our session. Thank you, Carl. Hey guys, I don't know, I, I can't. I, I mean, after Ben's presentation, it's like, uh, uh, what am I gonna do? One of the things I really wanna do is I wanna say thank you very much to the entire team at BC Innovation Council that put this on, absolutely incredible. Big shout out to Tahara and Lindsay, absolutely awesome. I hope everybody appreciated it. But it wasn't just us, we do this uh, on behalf of the provincial government. It's part of what you saw this morning where they want to help technology. And I think one of the things you saw here today is truly incredible. This was BC Tech in one place as a showpiece, as an amazing showpiece of what can happen and what kind of things we can do. And I think it was marvelous. I certainly enjoyed it. I hope everybody else enjoyed it. We had over 5,000 people through here. We sold out had people calling up, hey, I need a ticket, I need a ticket. Sorry, can't do it. Come next year, get it earlier. It was really neat. We've had more companies, more speakers, more stuff happening here that it's just uh, the energy. The energy level just day in and day out was awesome. And the connections that I saw people making was just exactly what we wanted. One of the big things about this place is it's not one, co one conference, it's like six. We don't have a green tech conference. We don't have a sub conference. We don't have an ICT conference. We have all of BC technology all on show, all in one place. And I really hope you enjoyed it. I have uh, one th a couple things to do. I want to introduce a, a quick time lapse video. If we can run that right now. I think that shows a little bit of the work that was involved. It's a lot of work, but we love doing it. It's a great thing to do and a great thing to put on, and I certainly enjoyed being here. I actually was here last year. I wasn't with the BC Innovation Council. I bought a full fare ticket. Absolutely loved it. I hope that everybody here had just as much fun as I had, and I'll leave you with uh, one more little bit of video. Thank you very much. The giant electron by Remington Rand from magnetic field. So, what's next? What's on the horizon? The next big thing? What's the next breakthrough? You see, the future is now. Innovation in BC is changing the world. BC is a pioneer of revolutionary quantum computing technology bringing revolutionary new applications and technologies to society. Where people are able to lend their skills to make positive change in their community. We try to move innovation out in industry and we're doing it with this BC Tech Summit. More people, more places, more connections from all across all sectors. And in technology, we have an opportunity in this province not only to change BC, not only to change Canada, 
but we have an opportunity to change a life on the other side of the planet, right from here in British Columbia. Technology has allowed me to open doors that I didn't even know were there. We are the future. Technology will allow youth to take what they love and what they're passionate about and move in any direction. Tech in BC is strong, it's growing, and it's the future of BC. And let's build British Columbia together. We have only seen a glimpse of what happens when people refuse to let problems be their reality, letting dreams and ideas fuel their passion, changing lives. It's only the beginning.